almost stepped on you, bro. Okay, don't. Just keep going your own way. Don't. Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm so lucky. Should I, should I run? I feel like I'm far enough away. I'm running. I'm running. Okay. What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the jungles of green hell. Today, whoa, it's starting to rain right now. That means I should. Yes, I love the detail of this. If you look at the bottom left, I am a little bit muddy right now, as you can see. But with the rain actually hitting me, I don't even need to use my, uh... Mud shower here, but we will turn this on. Let's use this a little bit because we did make that in the last episode. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing today as well. We got to play with mud last time. Now, I'm hoping we get to the iron forging today because uh, that sounds really, really fun. We got the brick maker over here. Let's actually go get some more river mud and set this thing up because we'll probably need quite a few bricks today. And being that it's raining out right now, this is the perfect time so we don't get too dirty here. Now, we do need campfire ash for this, and I don't think I have any more here. Did I... Sometimes the campfire, one just went out, and it didn't give me any ash. So it looks like... I felt like every time we got campfire ash before, maybe they changed that now, so it's a really hard uh, commodity to get. So we'll have to try and make some more campfires just to actually get the campfire ash so we can make the mud bricks here. Because, yeah, we need campfire ash, as you can see. We got two mud bricks, though, and I think we're going to use those right now because there's one more thing we can put down... Don't really remember what it is, but we'll check it out in a second here once I get this campfire set up. Oh, that's actually it right here. The mud charcoal furnace. And that's going to take three mud bricks. We only got two, so we definitely got to get this campfire down. And, uh, oh, that's that must be the big campfire. Whoops. Come here, little frog. Come on, little guy. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, God, even with the leg around my place, I was able to get that guy. We, we may as well eat what's around us right now. I don't know... We got some tapir meat still, so or taper meat, sorry. I always, always call it tapir. So it looks like that's all smoked. Just trying to remember kind of what we did last time. Unfortunately, we did spoil some fish here, so we should be able to harvest those for some maggots, I think. Uh, yeah, we get a little bit of maggots with that, which we can use in our fish trap. So not a big deal if we're spoiling a little bit of meat. I was hoping we had a, some stuff to, to uh, smoke, though. I guess it's just going to be this cane toad. All right, let's go check our traps. Let's see how we're doing today. We got a discus in this one. Uh, angelfish in this one. Is that it? Just, oh, two angelfish in that one. Perfect. Now, I guess I'll throw some more maggots in here. I wonder, I feel like the maggots get the small fish and the, uh, the worms or whatever they are get the bigger fish. I don't know. We'll have to test that out, though. Ah! What the? I was just trying to get dried leaves. God damn it. Okay, well, that was a huge waste of time then. That came and came out of nowhere, literally. Ah, oh, thank God for load states. Uh, I don't recall seeing a cave. Is this a full cave or is this a little, little hole? Now I have done some research. The iron is supposed to be in caves, so I don't remember this. But this is obviously where we need to be, anyways. I need some stones, so let's pick that up. Um, maybe we were here again. It's been we we've done a lot in Green Hill. I don't recall. A cave of this size uh, at the new part of the world, though, so it's really weird. I'm looking for, like, veins of iron, because I think that's what we want to look for. Kind of like a coppery, reddish-type rock. Look at that! Right there, we have the iron vein. Now, can we actually... Oh, it looks... It sounds like I'm hitting it. There we go! Okay! We have the mud forge entry. We also... Can I pick up these? No, but we have two iron that went into our uh, inventory here. So, yeah, we actually have some iron ore by this cave. Where is the coordinates for this? I'll have to keep a mental note of this place. Well, at least I know we have some on the new world here. We don't have to go to the old world to actually get some iron. Now we got to figure out how we're going to melt this stuff down and actually build some tools. Now, obviously, before I leave, though, I want to check. This looks like another iron vein. Maybe it takes some time to spawn iron. Maybe it's random in terms of the spawns. So yeah, this is a really cool cave, actually. I was just wandering around looking for uh, food for myself, actually, because we are getting low on carbs. Constant issue with carbs in this world. Uh, and yeah, I, I randomly st stumbled upon this, so talk about lucky. Now back out here, I'm assuming, is this the, is this the old world? Ah! Oh God, oh Jesus, that's not good. Okay, do I have my, I have my Ascidian Spear. I have armor, I don't want to fight this guy. I don't need to though. He was just spinning around like a 
crazed maniac. I would like to take this iron back and not risk it, so we'll see. Yeah, keep keep doing your spinny thing, bud. Where the hell did you come from? There's no tribes people on this new world, I swear. Now, I think I am at the old part of the map. I don't know how we somehow got out of the new part, but this does not look familiar to me at all. Maybe, well, actually, maybe. Holy crap. I didn't realize this river went that far then. I've been walking down this river for a few minutes. Well, riddle me surprised. I guess I clearly have to explore a little bit further from my base. Oh, should I try and get this guy? Ah, oh, you know what? I, 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 don't, I don't need meat. I need carbs, man, and I can't find, like, the strange fruit. There's none around here. The only thing I'm I'm getting for carbs is those mushrooms, but you, you, know, you can only get so, so much nutrients off those. They're not big enough. Ooh. Okay, and we made it back without getting eaten, so that's always a good day. Let's see how our fire is doing on our island over here. Still cooking away, unfortunately. We actually need these fires to go out as quickly as possible, so we'll definitely do some sleeping right now. Looks like it is halfway down. Our fish are smoked, at least. And yeah, now we got something else we can use as well. When, when we uh, got this iron resource, we got something else in our notebook here. So let's see what's going on with that. Obviously, I think it's the forge. Uh, we had the furnace before. I was going to make that, but I'm thinking maybe we should make the forge instead. That's going to take long sticks and mud bricks, which we need lots of. Oh my god, look at the size of this thing. So where do we want our metal refinery to be? I don't really have a, a good layout here. That's, that's, that's obvious. <laughs> I'm thinking over here by the water edge should be good. We have a lot of open space over here. The problem is this whole island has a lot of uh, plants on it that regrow, and I kind of like keeping it out in the open where I don't have to deal with those plants. So I actually did, I think I brought five long sticks back. It's like I'm I'm planning this out. Yeah, they're right over here. So we should be able to at least get those sticks done. And look at that. Don't have to go kill a bunch of trees for that. That's good. But we need a lot of mud bricks. So we think we get four each time. We currently have two from the last time when we were building this thing. So it looks like, I think it said it needed eight, so we are going to need to deal with two more campfires, I think, to truly do all this. So hopefully we can get that campfire ash that we need, because we really need that right now. We're kind of just waiting on it. All right, before I pass out, though, let's actually go to sleep and not get any sort of infection or anything. Because, yeah, I am ready to pass out, as you can see. And there we go, a little bit of rest. We are going to have to address our food today. I tried to do it yesterday as well, but... Uh, yeah, it's just really hard to find the stuff right now. So it is the middle of the night. As you can see, it's extremely bright out, though, so that's nice. And did we get some ash? Got the charcoal, so we'll start holding that. And we did get some ash as well, so that's perfect. Okay, but this forge, man, this is a process to make this. It is not easy to make these mud bricks, so I'm really hoping... Wait, does it have six? I thought it only gave us four. Maybe it does give us six. That means I think we're actually done right now. Holy crap, we are! Okay, well, we need to make that other thing anyways, the charcoal maker or whatever. So we will make that. Actually, we have some extra bricks here. Clearly, I underestimated the amount of bricks that we got out of this thing. So I guess we can start working empty mold. Oh, my God. Do we actually have to make molds? I'm so nervous that I'm doing this wrong. But no, I think if we have some charcoal, let's drop some charcoal off in here. Oh, wow. We need lots of charcoal, which is probably why we need to make that other thing, because it looks like it takes about eight per. Now, I do have some charcoal in the storage, so we should be able to light this thing at least for the first try but we are going to need a little bit if we actually want to make the armor and whatnot yeah we actually got it says zero but we got lots of charcoal in here not really sure that why it says zero but that's a little confusing not really sure where i put it hopefully we have, we can insert this somewhere and hopefully i'm yes. not wasting some of my yes. dry leaves because i am running out of those too yes there we go ignite the forge oh dude that is so cool looking now did i put it the wrong way or does it not have a front no it's just like a giant Stack. That's really it. All right, so I guess we just wait now. It looks like it is doing its deed. I don't know if we have to put more charcoal in. It, it is going down on the charcoal meter, but it looks like it's going down slower than the melt process. So hopefully we can melt both of these. Now, I got to go out today and risk getting eaten because, yeah, again, as per usual, we're very, very hungry. So I'm going to save the game again just so in case we die, we're back to here. And yeah, let's go out, I guess. I don't know if there's anything else. You know what we could do? Let's actually make some bone stew, because that should uh, give us a lot of the good stuff right now. And I do need to eat a little bit, so I got some bones in here. Just been storing it, trying to deal with my inventory a little bit, you know, organizing a little bit. Not very good at that in games like this, but I, I do my best, damn it. Back out we go. It looks like it is daytime after all, so uh, I'm really excited, though. 
Actually, that reminds me about the mold. You know what? We'll figure out the mold later. I really got to fo focus on my nutrients right now so we don't die, you know? So as much as I hate going out when it's dark out, sometimes you don't have a choice. We're just going to take our time, wander through here. Hopefully, we can find a bunch of strange fruit. <gasps> oh! Oh, I almost stepped on you, bro. Okay, don't. Just keep going your own way. Don't. Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. I don't, I don't want to throw this thing at it because he's going to get really pissed off. I feel like i got to keep looking at him. He is clearly following me, you sick bastard. Oh, I'm so lucky. Should I, should I run? I feel like I'm far enough away. I'm running. I'm running. Okay. Whew! I was on my way back, and I had a really good day of actually scavenging, so I was all confident. And that's, that's when the jungle will bite you in the butt, man. I got real lucky there. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I still have to worry, too. We got other predators around. Clearly, we're going to go to my island this way, though, because we know the caiman, at least one of them. I don't know how many are around us, by the way, but I feel like there's more now. I don't know. I don't know if a whole family came in or what, but every every now and then, they're just kind of wandering in the jungle like, why the hell are you there, man? Stay, stay by the water, at least, please. Oh, okay, but at least we don't have to worry about that guy. We made it past him, and we're back. I want to see if it looks like that thing's still cooking, so I don't know if the metal is done yet or not. But, oh, 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 easy now. I don't think that thing's armed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, still, just to be safe, we definitely want to jump over that thing. So, yeah, it looks like it is still indeed going. Uh, oh, leech. Okay, that's that's important, too. Oh, look at this. Forging metal items. All right, so it looks like there's a whole guide on how to do this. We can bake molds. Uh, obtain iron by melting iron stone. Yep, we've done that. Harvest mud brick to get a form. Oh, we need to harvest the mud bricks. Okay, so before we make that other thing, maybe we want to use these bricks to get the molds. Combine it with melted iron and weapon to get molds. So we actually have to make our own molds. That's going quite deep into detail. And then we actually have to bake the mold as well, and then harvest bake form and use a cast to create iron tools. Now, I don't know if we can use the cast more than once. Usually they just break and crumble after you use them. I mean, I'm no professional forger or anything, but from what I've seen, that's how it works. So I guess, yeah, we're going to use these to make mold, so I guess we harvest it. I feel like that's, uh, feels really weird doing this, but hey, it should work. And yeah, we have, oh, we actually get two for one. Okay, so that's cool. You know what, we'll just harvest the other one, so we'll have four molds total, hopefully that's enough, and then we can put some more mud on here and start making some more once that uh, fire is done. So being that it's raining right now, it's the perfect time to grab mud. We don't have to worry about getting too dirty. Well, to be fair, we don't ever really have to worry because we have the shower as well. So I uh, guess it doesn't really matter, but we may as well do it right now. So that's all prepped and ready to go once that fire's done. And yeah, now we got some mold. So i got to figure out how to use these things. This is going to be interesting. All right, so let's craft the stone axe. And that's just the basic guy that we never use because he's uh, not too good, to be honest. But if we put this here like that, yes! Okay, so we can make something out of this, and I'm assuming once we have the iron, that's what we're going to need. So I'm glad I decided to try that. We're just going to put that there for right now. How's our iron doing? Looks like it's almost ready to go, so we'll just hang around here. Uh, maybe I should set my fish traps and whatnot. Oh, Jesus! Two arowana? All right, we hit the mother load here. It's a good thing I checked this. God damn, son. Okay, I don't even have enough space. I'm going to have to... Really work on my organization soon. Thankfully, we have these storage boxes now, so we can utilize that. Melted iron ore. There we go. So, while this thing's still cooking, let's throw this other one in there, too. It looks like, yeah, it's just going to keep going. Now, we might need to throw some more charcoal in there. That's not too bad. We still have enough charcoal, though. And that reminds me. I think I got some more charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think we need that charcoal furnace anytime soon. We have so much charcoal over here. Because I've been collecting it this whole time. We're on day 50, by the way, I think. Of survival as well, so we've been surviving quite a bit. And there's that little bit of melted ore. So let's see if I can make this axe. Now, I know there's more we can make than just the axe. I think we can make armor as well. But I think I really do want the metal axe at least. And it looks like that's what we needed to make this anyways. Oh, yeah, the axe is on the ground over here. And then this into that. We can make the axe mold. So there we go. All right, and we actually do get to keep our axe, so that's the axe mold done, and now we just... I'm assuming the iron's already in there, so we don't need to add any more iron. We can just bake this, basically, and it should turn into an axe at the end. So we'll bring this over here, we'll put that on the ground, and when that's done, we'll start cooking up this thing. Wow, this is really cool. It's very in-depth. I like it. 
If we go down here, though, and put the mold here and the bone armor here, yes! We can actually use this bone armor to literally make metal armor. So it's gonna take quite a few iron ore to actually get this done, but we should actually be able to make iron armor for ourselves, which will obviously be my next goal. I wanna go back and start fighting some tribes later on, uh, because there is some new ones we still haven't seen. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be a work in progress. Maybe we'll get onto that today. I doubt it though. I wanna kinda focus on the tools first, because I think they will be a little bit more useful, at least right now. And it's ready to pop! Come on, there we go, the little melted ore. Now, I'm thinking, like I said, we just drop this bad boy. We just slide the tube inside the little hole there. And yeah, now we're cooking. Looks like this is going to take a while, too. So this is not a fast process, which I like, obviously, being that it's metal. It should be a long process. I added a little bit more charcoal to the fire here so we don't lose it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all we're going to be able to do today for the iron because we don't have any more. We'll have to go back and look deeper into that cave, because I feel like there might be more there. It also might respawn, too, so we'll have to figure that out. And we should also work on this mud charcoal furnace just to have it. But like I said, we have enough charcoal for today, but we definitely will run out of charcoal if we're using it this often. So we'll put this right beside this to have our little mud set up here. We don't have any more bricks, but we'll get that set up hopefully by the end of today, too, because uh, as long as this campfire gives us ash, I think it's almost done, and yeah, it is. So we should be able to make some more bricks, therefore make that thing, and there we go. The mold has been baked, so we're going to take it, and what do we have to do? Harvest? We definitely don't want to destroy it. Oh, this is creepy, though. I'm assuming it's harvest, and I think it is a one-time use type thing. And there we go. We have the metal axe cast. So yeah, each time we make a weapon, we are using the mold, and we have to remake a mold, so... This is a long process. Hopefully these metal pieces last for a long time. I mean, they're metal. They should. Now, I guess it's probably as easy as putting this on here. We need three items, so that tells me we need the stick and the rope. And bam! We have our first piece of metal tools. We're going to get rid of that old axe. And look at that bad boy here. Let me actually... It's a little dark out, obviously. We can't really see very well. Uh, can't see at all, basically. But that's a metal axe! We did it! We forged a freaking axe. That's so cool. That, that, and this. And look at that. We can make the blade mold. So we can make metal spears. Sweet. All right. Take that over here. And, of course, it did go out, unfortunately. So we are going to need some more charcoal here. Don't think I have any with me either. So, yeah, we are using charcoal extremely quickly now that I've been doing this. Uh, so we are definitely going to need some more. And we're going to need that other furnace up as quickly as possible. We have to start so many fires now. Because we are yes. obviously melting as well. So there we go. Metal Forge is up. Put the blade mold in there. And let's go get some more before I forget. All right. But that used pretty much all of it. We got five more. We might have like three more over there. Definitely not enough to uh, keep this thing going because we want to make some armor soon as well. And then I want to fight the tribes people. So I guess we could start working on this and start making more charcoal. Because now we have the bricks that we needed. And look at this. It's like a little mud igloo over here to make charcoal. I'm curious to see how this is going to work, too. Now, I wonder if this makes campfire ash, too, because that's the one thing I'm going to need uh, from the ordinary campfire is lots and lots of campfire ash. I'm hoping this will make both the charcoal and the ash, though, so we don't have to worry about that. I also wonder if I can put logs in this, because I feel like this uses so many freaking sticks. Oh, my God, we need, like, one more. i got to use another mud brick, and I'm assuming this brick... I mean, maybe we only have to use it once. It looks like we might have to put this on every time, though. You'll use tool to create ember. All right, well, we've done that a million times. I can do that. Just another use for my dry leaves, man. I'm running out of them, and it's yes. raining right now, so hopefully this thing doesn't go out. I doubt it would. I mean, it's enclosed. Ooh, man, she's smoking. Okay, and I guess we got to wait a while for that to work, but yeah, that's what's working. Looks like this is almost done, too. So that actually reminds me, we're going to need a long stick to build a spear, so let's go get one of those. Hey, wait, is this my, uh, this is my metal axe. I totally forgot we built this thing. Feels like it's doing pretty good. Is it actually already half degraded, though? Unless I'm using the wrong axe, I to could totally be doing that. Um, no, I'm holding on to the metal axe, and it's already degraded that much. I haven't even used it. And goodbye, mold. Hello, metal blade cast. And look at that beautiful thing. All that work for that little piece of metal, but god damn it, it's totally worth it. Because now we have a metal spear. I'm assuming this is better than obsidian. I would hope so. 
Uh, being that it is metal, so I guess we technically upgraded all our weapons today, so that's exciting. Goodbye, Obsidian Square. We'll have to ma make a weapon rack, too, because clearly we're gonna need one of those now. Maybe we should keep these metal items for just hunting? I mean, that might be what they're really used for. If they degrade that quickly, it really doesn't make sense to, uh... Ooh, we're gonna have to cook that meat. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to use them for chopping down trees. Oh, look at that! So we got a pile of 15 charcoal, so we can actually take all of them or just take one at a time so 15 for all that work is it worth it i think it is because if a fire goes out you get three so technically that's basically like making five fires and that's definitely less wood than actually doing it this way and obviously it's going to be a lot faster unfortunately we don't get the campfire ash though which is what i was truly hoping for so i guess we're going to have to make some campfires too to make a lot of that campfire ash if we do want to make a lot of weapons really really quickly but yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. Next time, we'll probably be making some metal armor so we can actually prep to uh, go back to the old world and kind of explore what has happened there uh, since these updates have happened because they're supposed to be stronger tribes now. I want to go explore that and see what we're working with over there. And yeah, it'd be good to go back to base one just to see how it's doing and uh, grab anything that we need to grab possibly. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. I'm One day I'm going to get you. I swear to God. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, finally getting into metal forging, and yeah, it was pretty successful today. We found a little encampment, and uh, yeah, we got our first two weapons of metal. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.